Three, two, one, ready. Audio, video, light, check, check, check. Hey, what's happening everyone? This is Wayne Brewer back with another video. But before we get into this video, I want to ask you something. How productive have you been feeling lately? And if the answer is not that much, I get it. Well, it's really great to have the alarm clock goes and I wake up and start coding with maximum effort attitude. It's not possible to have that maximum effort attitude all the time. And that's why I feel like this video will be really helpful to developers who want to reach peak productivity levels even when they don't feel like it. This video is based on the blog Lessons in Productivity by Radoslav Stankov. And if you want to read that blog, there's a link for that in the description. But it went something like Rado, who's the head of engineering at Product Hunt, right? We invited him over to our podcast. And what he talked about was four ways developers can look to boost their productivity. So if you want to listen to that episode of our podcast, there's a link for that in the description as well. But look at us, man. First, a podcast episode, then a blog, which was based on that podcast. Now this YouTube video, which is based on the blog, which is based on that podcast. Is this us maximizing our content distribution? I think it is. My content manager would be so proud. But back to the video. Here's my three main takeaways on the blog, Lessons in Productivity by Radoslav Stankov. Let's get into it. Takeaway number one, bye-bye egos. Look, we all have a bit of an ego, right? Some people more than others. Some people not enough. And they say, you should have a bit of an ego and some people say it's the worst thing in the world for you. Look, it doesn't matter what they say. Not in this video at least. What does matter is the fact that ego can get in between doing great work sometimes. What do I mean by that? Sometimes our egos make us overestimate the amount of work that we can put on our plate. And when that happens, we end up overcommitting. And when we overcommit, we end up not being able to meet our deadlines or we do meet deadlines but we are really stressed at the end of it, which is never great for productivity and which is never great for creativity. Hello. Yeah, calm down. Of course I can send you September social media plan before lunch. Yeah, I'll send it to you. The emails. Oh, the emails. Yeah, the emails were drafted yesterday. What emails? Which emails? Where are the emails? Yeah, don't worry. The emails, they were drafted yesterday. I'm sending it right now. You know you can count on me. Coffee today at that new cafe. Um, yeah, sure, why not? You know I can never say no to coffee. I'll see you soon. So like I said, only commit to tasks that you know you can deliver confidently. Takeaway number two, know your tools. A great trader knows his tools really well and developers are no different. The trade of a developer is writing great code. So invest some time into learning a tool that you really like. Know the ins and outs of this tool so that in the future, you don't end up wasting time trying to do monotonous tasks on this tool. When you know that this tool can help you complete that task in second, know every shortcut there is, every in and out. It should feel like home to you. And that's how you end up saving a lot of time and maximizing productivity by knowing your tool. Takeaway number three, dear diary. I have one word for you, documentation. As coders, that means leaving little comments on your code so that you can look back at it on the future and you can understand your code. As humans, we forget. We wanna think that we don't forget, but we almost always end up forgetting things. We wanna think that no way I, I'll remember that, I don't need to write that down, but we forget things. That's just how it is. And for a coder, forgetting something can sometimes be a really expensive mistake. So that's why it's important to write things down, but more than leaving comments on your code, having a little diary where you write down tips, tricks, insights that you learn on your coding journey can be pretty invaluable. Coding is mentally draining and there's going to be more losses than wins in this journey as a coder. That's just how it is. Coders know about it and that's what they signed up for. But having a diary where you write down your little wins so that you can look back at it in the future when you're dealing with your 5 million, the bug that's really messing with your code, looking back at it can really boost your morale and it can help to push you on to your next big win. That's how wins from the past can help push you on to bigger, better wins in the future. And that's all I have to say about that. That's my three main takeaways from the blog Lessons in Productivity by Radoslav Stankov. If you want to read the blog, link in description for that. 
If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button and actually like the video. Comment what you think down below. Subscribe to the Hacker Earth YouTube channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Check, check, check.